June 14th, How to Escape Impurity Paul devoted a great deal of space to the theme of sexual impurity because it was a critical problem in the church of his day. It is also a critical problem in the church today. For many people, marriage vows are no longer considered sacred. Divorce, even among believers, is no longer governed by the word of God. There are gay churches where homosexuals and lesbians love one another and claim to be Christians. Premarital sex and pornography are accepted by many who go to church regularly. How does the Spirit of God help us live a clean life free from sexual impurity? To begin with, He creates holy desires in us so that we have an appetite for God's pure word, not for the garbage of the flesh. Also, He teaches us the word and helps us to recall God's promises in times of temptation. As we yield to the Spirit, He empowers us to walk in holiness and not be detoured into the lusts of the world and the flesh. The fruit of the Spirit overcomes the works of the flesh. Fight back. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17 Consider Romans chapter 13 verses 12 to 14 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 1 to 3 John chapter 14 verse 26 Study Galatians chapter 5 verses 16 to 26 How can you avoid gratifying the desires of the sinful nature? What is a battle described in verse 17? List any acts of the sinful nature that may trouble you. Talk with God and how to cultivate the fruit of the Spirit in your life. Amen.